Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahd in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful snake border animation using Elementor Flex box. I will also show you how to add hover animation with it. So initially it's looking like it and when you hover over it we can see some heading text and button also if you have a close look we can see animated borders with multiple colors. I will show you how to do it very easily using Elementor. So without further ado let's now go inside Elementor page builder. By the way, in this tutorial, we will be using Elementor's Flexbox container. So make sure from your WordPress dashboard from Elementor settings, go to experiments and from there, make sure you have turned on the Flexbox container to active. All right, let's now go inside Elementor. First to take a container, I'm clicking on this plus icon and I want to take this two container structure. From here, first, I just want to delete one of these inner containers. So right now we only have one container within this parent container. So let's select the parent container. Here I'm making its height in VH and let's set it to 100 VH. Now go inside its items. First of all, I wanna set the align items to centered, also the justify content to centered. So within this container, all the inner containers or any other elements would be vertically and horizontally centered. And here I'm adding elements gap to 20 pixel. All right, now let's go to style tab. From here, I just wanna add a background color. So from here, open the color picker. I'm adding the color. The color code is hash 151A4F. All right, let's now select this child container or the inner container. I'm selecting this container. First of all, I wanna make its width in pixel. So let's select the pixel and I'm making it to 400 pixel. And here I just want to say this tutorial is very tricky. So please follow each of these steps what I'm doing here. Now from here, I'm making the overflow to hidden. All right, let's now open the items. And like before, I'm making the align items to centered, the justify content to centered. Now let's go to its style tab because I want to give it a background color. So from here, first of all, I'm making it to black color, but I just want to make it a bit transparent. So I'm dragging this middle bar. I'm in the bottom bar to this middle place like this. And then from here, open the border. I just want to add some border radius. So from here, I'm giving it in percentage. Let's add 50% of border radius. All right, now within the child container, I wanna add another container. So click on this plus icon. Here inside, I'm dragging another container here. So to make everything super clear, I wanna take the help of the navigator, just right click here and open the navigator. So here we can see now we have got three containers. This is the main parent container, this one. And then within that, we have taken another container. I would refer it as child container and inside the child container we have just taken another container it's our grandchild container and with this grandchild container I'm also opening the items and I'm making the align items to centered and the justify content to centered so all the elements within this grandchild container would be vertically and horizontally centered let's now go inside grandchild containers style tab here open the border from here first of all I'm making the border type to solid and I want to add six width here then let's select the color from here I'm giving it hash 070A1C probably you cannot see it right now but as soon as we will add some content inside you can see everything properly so for now just stay with me then from here border radius I'm giving it in percentage and let's add 50% of border radius. And now within this grandchild container, I wanna add some element. So click on this plus icon. First of all, I'm dragging an image widget here. Let's now select the image. I'm selecting this image, click on insert media. Now go to its style tab. First of all, width, I'm making it in pixel and I'm giving it 340 pixel. Also with the height, I'm giving the height to 340 pixel and I'm making object fit to cover. Then from here, border radius, let's select it in percentage. I'm giving here 50% border radius. 
all right now underneath this image i wanna add some heading widgets so click on this rubik's cube icon from here i'm dragging an heading widget underneath the image here let's now change the text here i'm writing jim fahad that's my name now go under the style tab from here i'm making the text color to white color then from typography i'm making the font size to 34 pixel then transform i'm making it to uppercase and the line height first of all i'm selecting em and i want to give it to 0.2 em actually right now we cannot see the text properly because you may remember with this child container this one let's select it go to its layout we have given here the overflow to hidden for now i'm making it to default but later for sure we need to make the overflow to hidden only for the moment i'm making the overflow to default all right so we were here and now underneath this heading i want to add another heading widget so click on the rubik's cube icon let's drag another heading widget right after this jim fahad text here so let's drop the heading and here i wanted to say elementor expert now similar like before go under the style tab from here let's make the text color to white color then from the typography i'm making the font size to 16 pixel then the font weight to 400 all right now underneath this second heading i want to add a button widget so click on this rubik's cube icon from here i'm dragging a button widget underneath the elementary expert word here so first i just want to change this click here to contact now then go under the style tab from here first of all i'm changing the text color to black color then the background color i'm making it to white color and from here i'm making the border radius to 16 pixel so we are almost done with the layout now i will be adding the beautiful snake border effect for now just follow me step by step because you might have few questions but no worries i will explain everything at the end of this tutorial now to add the snake border effect first of all i'm selecting the image you can select the image from here also you can take the help of the navigator so let's select the image go to its advanced tab and i want to make its position to absolute you see that's why i love to use navigator because at this point you don't know which element is above another element so actually this is the best usage of the navigator all right so from the navigator i'm selecting now this grandchild container i mean this third layered container then go under its advanced tab and here i want to add a class name and the class name would be content dash section remember you need to type exactly this class name that's content dash section otherwise the whole effect won't work then from here i'm adding z index to two now the very last thing we need to do from the navigator let's select the child container this one go under its advanced tab and from there open the custom css field by the way custom css is only available on elementor pro i will put my elementor pro affiliate link in the description if you purchase elementor pro through my affiliate link you don't have to pay any extra but i will get a little credit for that that will help me to continue this youtube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this all right now within this custom css field we need to insert some css code to get that code snippet you just need to go to jimfahaddigital.com i will put this pages link in the description from there under imported links here you see it says snake border animation css from there let's copy this whole css snippet from here just select it and copy it now go inside elementor then within the css field paste the css code and boom it's looking nice right now but it's a bit weird because we need to do a little bit fix you may remember with this container i mean with the child container we have made their overflow to hidden so let's do the thing just go under its layout tab from here make the overflow to hidden right now it looks perfect if we just minimize the bar from left we can see the proper view 
So here is our beautiful snake border effect and when you hover over it, we can see the text Jim Fahad Elementary Expert and the call to action button. Also if you have a close look, we can see the outer border is animating with the multicolors. I'm explaining it very shortly how you can play with them. So for now, let's expand the bar from left. Now go under its advanced tab, open the custom CSS field. Now just let me explain this CSS snippet. Actually you don't need to do anything under here. You have all the controls here within these first seven lines. Okay, so here the first two things are animated colors because if you have a close look with this color, you see these are basically the combination of two colors. So those two colors are coming from here. This one says animated color one and this one says animated color two. So for example, if you wanna change the first color with red color, so here I'm putting the hex code of the red color, that's FF0000, you see, the first color is becoming red color and the second color if I want to make it to green color so the hex code of green color is 00FF00. Now have a look these two colors are the combination of red and green color. In this way you can change the two colors with your own colors. Alright so for the moment I just want to go back to the previous colors. Okay. Here the third property is background color code. So I have given here a dark color but let's say if you wanna make it to any other color for example here I'm giving red color so I'm just typing here red. Have a look. The background color is becoming now red also if we hover over it you see the whole background color is now becoming red. But I don't want that I'm just giving you example how you can play with it. So from here I'm changing this color to the previous color. And then this option it says border width it's basically the width of these snakes and it's basically works in reverse mode like I have set the default width to 100 pixel if you make it to 80 pixel you see right now the snakes are becoming bigger if I make it to 40 pixel only to give you example you see the snakes are becoming more bigger but from here if I make the border with 140 instead of 40 so I'm writing here 140 you see now the snake borders are becoming smaller so like I said it's working as a reverse manner so if I make the width value bigger the snakes will be smaller if I make the width value smaller the snakes will be bigger so here I just wanna make it to 80 you see the snakes are much bigger right now then the very last value here is the C height it's basically the container height by default I have set it as 400 pixel but let's say if I make it to 600 pixel you see it's becoming 600 pixel in height but if you also want to change the width you know from the layout you can change the width instead of 400 we can make it to 600 so the height and width both are now 600 but I don't want that so I'm making the width to 400 now go under advanced tab Let's now open the custom CSS. I'm also making the C height, that means container height. I'm making it to 400 pixel. So right now it's looking great. Now let me show you last few things. If you have a close look, we have two circles here. This one is the outer circle and here this one is the inner circle. If you want to change the outer border color, you can do that from here. So make sure you have selected this child container, this one, and from here go under its style tab, then the background color. If you change the background color from here, so for the moment I'm just increasing the opacity of the color. If we make the color to red, you see the outer border color is now becoming red color but I don't want that I just want to keep it black also the transparency at the middle like this. 
and then if you want to change the border color of this inner circle then you need to select this grandchild container i mean the third layer container you need to go under its style tab from here open the border and you know instead of this border color if you want to change it to any other color for example red i'm selecting the red color you see right now this inner circle border color is becoming red but i don't want that i want to go back to that dark blue color like this all right now i want to show you another thing let's say if you want to duplicate this whole circle then how to do it right so if you want to duplicate it you just can take the help of the navigator so from navigator if you select the main parent container you don't need to duplicate this container because if you duplicate it the whole container would be duplicated so make sure you have selected the immediate child container the second container this one then right click here and duplicate it as the main parent container is set to row direction that's why they are duplicated one after another horizontally okay but i don't want this second circle so from here right click and delete the second circle from here so everything is looking super great also the hover effect is looking super smooth now the very last thing i just want to check how it's looking on mobile device and tablet device so to check its responsiveness from here let's click on the responsive mode let's first go to the tablet view on the tablet device it's looking perfectly fine and if we now go to the mobile device i think here we just need to fix the image aside so you see if we hover over on it we cannot select the image so from the navigator let's select the image now from here go under style tab on the mobile device instead of 340 pixel i just wanna make the images width to 310 pixel also the height i'm making it 310 pixel so right now it's looking great on mobile device let me just minimize the bar from left you see it's looking great on mobile device also if we go to the tablet device it's also looking great and if we go back to the desktop device it's looking great as well all right let's now open the bar from left so when you are happy with your work don't forget to click on this green update button to save your work I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever we will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. Also, if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again, thank you so much for watching this full tutorial. I will see you in the next video. For now, bye-bye.